Okay, uh, hello? This is gonna be a tutorial on how to change the combo moves of the AI that I was request asked by a friend to, to do a video demonstration, so I'll be doing that. So, in this one, you could, you know, first you wanna decide, like, do you want to apply to everyone, or do you just wanna do the, uh, an individual? And depending on what you do, well, you'll either wanna go to, you know, the, either individual AI, so like, in this case, I'll be doing the the dummy in the tutorial stage. But if you want to modify like it for everyone, you want to go to a character sprite. Like uh, in the for like Home One Bad, it's eighteen twenty. I'll I'll make a list for anyone that wants to know. All right, so no, not that one. Let me so you go into the on into the interface. And, uh, you want to grab, actually, you first want to grab a copy move, a move from a AI, so you know what to do. So, in this video, I'm going to add a uh, up combo to the AI. So, so, combo, so it's combo move, equal 14, because that's the, uh, because uh, that's the combo move associated with the up attack. And you uh, copy all this, go back to your individual AI, and, and then paste it in. And uh, it's imp okay. It's important that if it comes with a mode, unwrite, if you want it to like apply to every like difficulty possible. So like whether you set it to normal, follow, or mo monster, you want to. Um, you wanna, if you don't want any like mode restriction, you wanna remove this line completely, and then get rid of the associated point bracket. Okay, now after the after this, you can um, well, you could you know add a random combo. Uh, so say let's say we want him to do the uh, no let's have him do the normal uh, air attack. So oh gotta save first. So so just gotta shift. Oh wait, no, that's um 480. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, I was looking. I'm looking at the wrong area. Yeah. If you want to find like the name of a attack, you want to go to sprite. Go to sprite. The sprite folder. Go there. Um, and then look through the frame you think it's in. Um. Hmm. So in this case, the attack is attack 16. So, you go back to your thing. The guy, um, okay, you know what, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna remove the, uh, you know, the combo. Oop, well, I don't know what that does. The random combo, because I'm just gonna make a simple, you know, if he did that combo is called for, he'll, you know, do thing. Probably don't need to do the what I'm doing, it'll probably automatically. So in this case, you put 16. And there, you change the combo. So let's save. Save, and I will we'll test the Swift file. Okay, so gonna enter the tutorial, and I, I can. Oh, I probably should have coded him to do a. Uh... Oh, yep, and as you see, he did the up attack, my combo. Yep, as you see again. Hmm, you could do some stuff, cause ideally, you know, he wouldn't have you so low to the ground. And 
everything. So yeah, I hope this uh, helps you or it helps you or anyone else that need wants to learn how to do this. And let's do it again. And yeah, right, thanks for watching.